<laughs> Sorry. Sorry. After There's Spain is Monaco. The Monaco oh, yeah. Grand Prix. Perhaps the most famous uh Grand Prix of all? Do you think? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. I mean it was it That's was the an one Iron I, Man. Knew. I knew. Exactly. I knew. There you go. There. I think so. A lot of people have seen uh racing in Monaco even if they're not aware. Um because a lot of times when they show like historic F1 footage or when they s- or in any uh, like in, in European movies when they show racing, you, they're going to show the, the Monaco Grand Prix. Because it's yeah. it's it's a it's a race that has existed, and there have been Grand Prix there from way before there was a Formula One even. Oh, really? Yeah, and and they've been yeah. they've been racing in pretty much the same circuit. With there's only been like there's been very few changes to this layout over like you know, over a hundred years. What's well, uh, if you what's check Twitter? Uh, last is this the this thing? I, uh, that, I'm that would be the pits. That's, that's the pits. Pit. Okay, that's, that's the new pit. The yeah. new pit. That's okay. how, like three was it three years ago, four years ago they moved it. Mm-hmm. It used to be on the bottom. It used to be on the bottom there, just past the swimming pool. But uh, this this is this this the swimming pool. No, they have a swimming pool here. See there, that's yeah. like the oh this thing it's here. It's in the middle of the city. It's like oh, uh, crazy pool there. But I th- think on the outside, past the tunnel, just past the chicane, mm-hmm. I think that's the section where the uh, bulldozers are at right now. Yeah, I'm trying to look online, but I can't find any photos of it. But for some so the reason, the whole city shuts, shuts down this part of the city. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my God. What did you say it was the prince is gonna put a horse stable okay, uh, there? It's gonna no, 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 not a horse stable. It, uh, it's a vehicle, a it's garage. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna be like uh, a boat uh, for for his cars. For his vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be for his and the corner is uh, the, the corner specifically is tobacco. Oh yeah. By the way, Mike, yeah. uh, F one. F1 cor- uh, corners in certain tracks of F1 are referred to by their name by rather, name. Than, rather, than, uh, rather than turn one or two or three. By some their name? What, what do you mean? Well, some historic corners have, have names. Okay. okay. Uh, pull up the Wikipedia of, uh, of the Monaco Grand Prix if you can. Uh, there's there's got to be a. There's so they, they yeah, stick with the Monaco. So if you, if you like click that picture it'll like it'll tell you exactly how it how it goes so yeah so that corner is called saint devo that's Beau rivage that's Massenet. that's casino oh wow yeah <laughs> and people no it grand hotel hairpin that's crazy yeah uh so like this yeah. turn must be this turn must be fucking nuts oh yes oh yeah <laughs> but like they actually how how fast are they going around this they turn? actually have to they, they go 60 speed. kilometers an hour 60 yeah. so they, yeah that's that's actually the, s- the slowest corner in f1 i i, I can imagine yeah. they actually have to add Extra steering wheel locks for this weekend for that corner. Get the fuck the out. wheel turns a little bit more just to get around it. That's just an example of how the <laughs> how the F one car actually changes from race to race. Yeah. The the car that they start racing in in Melbourne is different than the car that they race in, in Spain. Different than the car that they race in Monaco. Just oh little wow. details like that. Um, one of the biggest differences actually is between this race and the next one, which is Canada. Canada. This oh, track, the Montreal Grand Prix. This track is like yeah, super tight, that. super narrow, super downforce. And then you Wh- go what are these? So like they the they've grouped uh, ten uh, and eleven. Uh, and a, a lot of people like uh, refer to like for example this complex of corners. Yeah. Like uh, instead of like calling it like yeah. the one like you can call like uh, this a okay. section. Okay. That's okay. a swimming pool okay. section. That's yeah. the that nouveau sh- nouveau chicane. They changed that a few times because there used to be a wall right against it. Oh, that's a few people that died into dangerous. It. So here, so t- Tabak yeah. around turn yeah. twelve, which is Tabak. That's that's what's gonna change. It's gonna change yeah. slightly for this year. Just the yeah. Prince of Monaco wants to put his cars somewhere there. Uh, wants to like have a building. The prince of Monaco. Well, that's it's it's a it's a, it's yeah. a country yeah. whose monarch is a prince, not a king. Uh, is there any relevance of the color of this dotted line here? I think it, it means like how fast you're going. I think. Okay. No, no, those are the, uh, oh, the, the sectors. three sectors. The three sectors. All these tracks, every three F1 sectors. track is uh, divided into three sectors. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got your lap time and then your three sector times, which are, are they pretty just much. Rough. Are they all based on the track itself, or um, I yeah, think the, the, the idea of like more like arbitrary act one, act two, act three. Yeah, they're more arbitrary about a third, about okay, about a third that of the track sense. each. Yeah, and so what? If you see this one, they're each like five corners. They got a fifth corner, and then uh, the next one's uh, maybe not, whatever. Yeah. About a third of the track. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ma- maybe maybe about a third, like time-wise, like how long it takes you. Yeah, I think they even they try to divide it by by time. 
All yeah, right, cool. not not sure, but um, if you look at like when when the live timing is going on, so one of, one of the things that that you'll see is that when when we watch the races, um, we sometimes like to pull up the live timing to see like uh, how each driver is doing. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, and and the the live timing splits it. For example, so it'll give you like the overall how long how long uh, did each driver take for the whole lap. And then how long was each like how, how long was each sector? Mm -hmm. And you s you can you can get a lot you can kind of gather a lot from what's going on. So you can see some drivers that are actually faster down sector one than sector two, and they're getting the the, the maximum lap time. Ah, whereas, okay. uh, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, after <laughs> what, what else can we say? I think I think we do we're not touching enough on Monaco. Monaco is crazy, man. Well Monaco is just no. It's I think there's too much to say about Monaco. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's leave Monaco for where Monaco is. But what we were just saying about the vehicles. So you go from Monaco, which is tight, heavy downforce. You're gonna see the front wings will have like three, four, and five oh my wing God. elements, okay. and the back the back wing you'll see will Electric be maybe video. six, seven, eight inches thick. So each and then they'll come to Canada. Yeah. You'll see like a single or maybe a one and the a half. The front wing is gonna be like wing. really skinny, and the back wing is maybe gonna be like this. The back wing might be like two inches compared to like maybe five, six, oh my seven God. in Monaco. So I was, uh, you pretty much answered my question, but it was like uh, essentially each race uh, in different places are like you you build to that race. To yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Your your car, crazy. Your aerodynamically cars. especially. Yeah. And so tires. So yeah. what what Danny said is it, 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 it's huge. The, the change from the demands of Monaco are completely not even a little bit a little completely. bit different. Completely different from the ma demands of Canada. So the cars have to undergo a, a huge, big, huge huge change, change from wow. from wow, the wow, from wow, wow. yeah. So in in what uh, they got two weeks, fourteen days, or yeah, something like that. They have two weeks from from the Monaco Grand Prix to the Canadian Grand Prix. Now, where do they make those changes? Like, are they constantly on the road? In like, the, the majority. Oh of yeah, the year? In, yeah, in, in 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 the pits or or sometimes. I mean, they they rarely ever take the cars back to base, unless they're in, uh, in Britain, I guess. On the summer break. Yeah, on the summer. Have, like, I think Red Bull has maybe four or five hundred employees, <coughs> so they've got the team, which is like. Don't they have 14, like a dispensary, like a Red Bull dispensary in every country now? Like, <laughs> like <and> they just <laughs> like, oh no, we'll bring your F one shit here. It's fun. <laughs> so basically, like at the track, each car might have between twenty to thirty guys working on it, <clears throat> and then maybe per car another hundred at the factory mm -hmm. building well, okay. the wings for the. Well, next the the so. pits. I mean, e each each pits complex has a number of garages for them to work on, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so the teams will arrive earlier. Um, than the drivers or or the you know the, the management stuff, the team will actually go and if they need to make some changes, uh, some essential changes to to the car, they will do that in the days leading up to the race. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that and 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 you. I'll, and I'll be right back. Sorry, no, go for it. No, that's it. I mean,